Okay, so we now do have for our Starfield game, which we're all dearly waiting for and hoping is going to be good as I think a lot of us think possibly it could be given the prestige of Bethesda, now does have a date in mind for when we're finally going to be able to see some potentially gameplay for the actual game. On top of that, we do know that the game is going to release this year, hopefully around winter kind of time. And I know that they say that the release is going to be, I think it's November the 11th. Oh, and by the way, the date for the Microsoft and Bethesda conference is on June the 12th in six weeks. Now there's also, on top of Starfield, which is very exciting, I do want to say, for any Peter Molyneux fanboys, which I know his recent games haven't been that great, but uh, Fable 4 is looking to hopefully have something about it, hopefully this year as well, which personally I'm very excited for. Peter Molyneux isn't actually working on it this time, but still super excited to see that. Anyone that played Fable 2, Fable 3, and even Fable 1 obviously can attest to the soul of that game being very uh, unique and something that you don't see in a lot of games these days and definitely has a unique aesthetic. One that hopefully Starfield is also going to have in a similar way to, again, Fallout had. Which actually I think Bethesda in general is pretty good at, at doing, of having a unique feel to the game, a unique aesthetic that they build up, rather than it being something more generic. Now of course as well, since my last video, there has been a new trailer put out, but it was all about music. Now music is a really good thing, and I all recommend you to go watch that video, but it isn't really something that I can talk verbally much about, because what they were talking about were how important music scores are for video games and how much of a story they do tell, which I totally agree with. But at the same time, I find it difficult to say too much more than that. Oh, and by the way, I did see as well some like, like they're not clickbait articles, but I did see some articles saying that they are working on a Starfield MMO. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I think it's an interesting idea especially since we know the law surrounding Star Citizen and the sci-fi universe. It would be funny if we had that uh, Starfield as an MMO before we had Star Citizen in an actual MMO experience, which to me involves having a lot of different people in one instance. An MMO isn't simply just, oh, okay, you got 32 people in this instance, but it's actually, again, you got everyone on the server in one instance across many different realms. In this case, it would be worlds. Now, do I think there's any credence to the idea that Starfield could be released as an MMO? In my opinion, it could be if Bethesda decided to move over to something that housed an MMO capability within their game engine, because currently, under the current MMO, from what I understand, I don't think that capability exists. With that being said, of course, they do have the creation engine, which does work for Fallout 76. But again, that's only 24 players per server. And scaling that up to several thousand would be a mammoth task, to put it lightly. Although, of course, they could be doing something like GTA 5 is to GTA Online, where um, they use the same world, the same environments, the same assets from Starfield, and then they do put that into an online experience. And that does, I actually think from a game development standpoint, like make sense to have something like a, and I don't know why more games don't do this, like a, an actual single player experience and then a separate online experience, which is um, like a separate product. Oh, also I totally forgot to mention, but there's also been a bunch of new concept arts released for Starfield based on their new trailer, which was all about the music of Starfield. But again, there was some concept art, which gives you a flavor for this game. Again, not representative of actual gameplay, but it's still a good idea to get a flavor and an aesthetic for what this game is going to be like. Another thing that we do definitely know is that the next Into the Starfield episode, which should be the last one, is going to be all about the lead animator and the lead level designer especially the data there is going to be very interesting to me and I'm sure you as well and I look forward to seeing more about that. Now interestingly enough you may or may not know that there has been over the last few years 
in fact, a lot of concept art released. And so it isn't just these eight images, but it is also a bunch of other stuff. And there's some here that I haven't even seen before. For example, on the Reddit, I saw this guy called uh, Best Adhesiveness, and he did show a concept art. Again, I, I haven't seen. We do also know that the actor Stephen Ford is going to have some kind of collaboration with the Starfield game. Now, some have said that it could be to do the feature film that this guy is making for them but I would argue it's more likely some kind of trailer or promotional footage which Stephen Ford is potentially involved in. Now of course it could also be a voiceover or something like that or an actor in the actual game and that is something that Mr. Scozy TV I think last month did actually point out because he seemed to see that in the artwork for um, Starfield in one of the videos it did show a picture which looked uncannily similar to Stephen Ford and so it could potentially be that as well. Now I do also want to double down on what I saw another reddit thread talking about. I, I have actually in the last week or two been browsing the Starfield reddit a bit more and I did see one talking about how um, people should be ready for a lot of haters coming in after this game gets a bit more mainstream people either dissing on it for not having gameplay if there still is no gameplay release and is if there is people might be talking bad on Todd Howard which surprisingly not everyone is a super big fan of and again a lot of people are but some people again like anything no matter what you do online there are going to be people that dislike it everyone knows that by now or should know that um, so definitely do expect that and also as this game gets more popular I strongly suspect that we're going to see people be salty because it's not coming to PlayStation potentially as well. And then there's another group of players that are going to be salty because it's not just you know the Elder Scrolls 6 which again I'm actually looking forward to a lot as well and potentially a little bit more than Starfield because I really am looking forward to Starfield but I really enjoy the uh, game universe that the Elder Scrolls is set in. I love the lore surrounding it and I welcome that as the next game that they're producing but also at the same time hopefully this new IP will again hopefully become my new favourite because right now it definitely is Elder Scrolls and Starfield hopefully wins me over and we'll see. I love sci-fi so hopefully that's the case. Of course as well there are separately going to be a bunch of people that are going to compare it to other games so for example Star Citizen or they're going to compare it to Elite Dangerous or they're going to compare it to X, Y or Z, you know, fill in the blank. And they therefore may have complaints about Starfield from it not being their vision of what a space game should be. You know, for example, we know that there's only going to be six main areas in which you can travel to. Uh, maybe these are wilds. We don't know yet uh, within the Starfield universe from what I remember. And so we might have people that complain ah you should be able to go wherever you want if this is a space game if i see that star over there i should be able to travel to it and that does have some credence to it like i understand that but at the same time come on it's a video game unless everything's going to be procedurally generated there is going to be a limit and if everything is expanded in that way then you can't have these compelling stories but again i do still expect people to complain so be ready for that ladies and gents um now until next time I hope you have a great day. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel and also join our Discord because we've got like a thousand or so people in the Discord, a few more than that actually. And we play a lot of different games together, like on voice and stuff, and also have a bunch of text channels. And I'm also going to open one for Starfield as well. So if you would like to join us there, it's my own Discord. Um, would love to see you there. Have a great day. Until next time, I'm out. GG. Bye bye.